present. Your Grace, Most Reverend John Bonaventure Kofi, my Lord Bishop, my Lord Auxiliary Bishops Antonia Sarina. I stand on behalf of the Catholic youth of the Archdiocese of Accra, here present and in other parts of Ghana for education and work, and present to you some resolutions adopted at the first Archdiocesan Youth Congress held at the St. Paul's Major Seminary in Soto from the 26th to 28th of June 2024. We, the youth of the Catholic Archdiocese of Accra, gathered at our Gathered at our inaugural youth congress at St. Paul's Catholic Seminary, Sotum, to deliberate on the theme connected to Jesus, present to others. My grace, the Metropolitan Archbishop of Accra, we present to you some issues we discussed based on some considerations on one being present that we shall not consider tomorrow or yesterday, but today, that we are gifts to our church and society, and we will be available and are available as marked present at all times, rain or shine. It was an opportunity to connect with Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd, and the True Vine, who has entrusted us to you, and to be connected to you and the church at all times. At the end of our reflective engagement, based on 10 thematic areas, we present to you some few of them, some few resolutions, and the request that the church will also consider some other issues to enable us to put our talents to the good use of the church. As youth, one resolution is to dive into tech studies and then self-employment opportunities by enrolling in online courses and attending workshops. We would ask the church to also establish dynamic mentorship programs and counseling offices in all parishes, for example, pairing young professionals with experienced mentors in their fields. We also pledge as you to take charge of the digital evangelization mission and start with hands-on tasks such as managing social media pages or creating content of our parishes, our deaneries, our movements, and then the archdiocese. And we ask the church to invest in top-tier digital evangelization tools and train our youth to become digital evangelization experts. For, exa for example, purchasing ca cameras and editing software for creating high-quality videos. We want to create a strong personal prayer routine for effective discernment, setting aside specific times for prayer and reflection daily. And we would ask especially the church to start remote counseling for youth on vocational discernment on marriage, especially one from an early age based on Canon 1063, Section 1. We as youth would embrace the teachings of the theology of the body in our personal lives, and we would ask that the church trains parents and guardians to guide the youth towards, li towards lives of purity by organizing workshops on theology of the body. We as youth would implement regular leadership programs tailored to different age groups, such as junior leadership training for children and advanced workshops for adults. We ask the church to create a specialized guide for educating children in leadership and then the young people such as us through age appropriate leadership training programs. We ask that we as youth would also create a judgment free zone for all youth to share their thoughts and concerns by organizing open forums and discussions. And we ask the church to also ensure Catholic schools prioritize safety and moral formation by conducting regular safety drills and implementing safeguarding policies in their schools. We as youth would support youth-led programs and businesses within our church, and we would also expect our church to support us by ensuring that priests actively support youth initiatives 
by promoting them from the pulpit and participating in events. We ask you to recognize and celebrate efforts in environmental stability by our by awarding, we would recognize and celebrate efforts in environmental sustainability by awarding eco champions in the various parishes, deaneries, and then the archdiocese. And we would ask that the church would establish designated areas for recycling and refuse for recycling in our church premises. In this regard, we ask you to have pledged that when we leave this park. We are not going to litter, we are not going to leave any plastic bag or any bottle over here. And so we are encouraging all the youth here to be part of this special resolution by making sure that any trash you see finds its way into a dustbin. We as youth would encourage disabled persons or persons living with disability to participate in church activities such as being lectures at mass or joining other groups and societies. We would also ask that the church would ensure all church buildings are accessible with ramps and then appropriate facilities and also inco incorporate sign language into mass service regularly. One for which today we have one of our priests and then some people with hearing impairment enjoying that. We as youth would organize concerts and events to showcase youth talents. And we would ask that the church to utilize various art forms to express faith creatively, such as music, dance, and visual arts. We, the youth of the Catholic Archdiocese of Accra, are committed to bringing these resolutions to life. We will diligently work on the final document, which encompasses the detailed process and our comprehensive recommendations. Furthermore, we would propose an implementation and monitoring team that would collaborate closely with you and ensure the full execution of their approved recommendations. This team would monitor progress, address challenges, and celebrate success, ensuring that our collective vision for a more engaged and empower empowered youth community is re realized. With deep respect and gratitude, your grace, the youth of the Catholic Archdiocese of Accra.